in the journey to building a regenerative business. Today, we're gonna to jump into what is your business's planetary impact? We're gonna take a deep dive into understanding the often overlooked facets of your business, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Before we jump into today's video, I just wanna do a little recap. This is the fourth video of the Brand Regen video series. The first video was called, Is Your Business Killing the Planet? And it was a kind of little introduction to find out where you are right now and get you start thinking about regenerative. The second video was asking the question, what is regenerative? Again, it's a word that gets used all the time and it was just giving a bit of clarity of what regenerative means. The third video was a kind of a starting point to think about, well, where do we start this process? Everyone has a different angle on this, but I really think profit and finance and looking at people and community and internal cultures is a really, really good starting point. But today we're going to start looking at the auditing side of things. It's about looking out a business and start to really think about all the different areas that our business works in and operates in, including the systems and the materials and the everything, the finance of the business, and start to look at where are we having positive and negative impact. So let's address the elephant in the room. Every business has a darker side. Modern day slavery, waste, pollution, carbon. It's time to face the ugly truth about our business. But fear not, we're going to embark on a journey towards regenerative progress. We're moving beyond the conventional methods of reporting and carbon calculations and we're going to explore the bigger picture and we've got to ask ourselves a crucial question. What is our perspective of the living world and what is our relationship to its ecosystems? We're going to break this down into three key steps. The first one is auditing. The second one is impact. And the third is regeneration. So let's start with step one, auditing. We've got to start asking harder questions. We need to unveil aspects of our business that we didn't know existed. So where are our enemies? Enemies aren't necessarily people, they're behaviors, they're aspects of the business that are the darker, dirty side of what we do. We've got to ask the question, what is holding us back? And where is the toxicity in our business? So we're gonna look at two different types of auditing. The first one is donut economics. And the second one is a much more simpler, stripped back version that we use for some of our clients. So we'll start with donut economics. Now I'm gonna show you a diagram. For anyone that's listened to this on the podcast, I'll try and describe this diagram as best that I can. So think of a donut, and you can probably see, if you're looking at this, you'll see that it's a donut shape. But donut economics serve as a roadmap for building a regenerative business in today's modern world. It shows how businesses should invest into social foundations and to operate without exceeding an ecological ceiling to safeguard our planet's boundaries. So anything within the center of that donut is when it goes into social boundaries. So if you work within the donut, that's working in the donut shaped space. That's about creating prosperity for humanity, but also staying in within that safe space ecologically. So what you need to do with the donut shape is go through each segment and with two different types of notes, you wanna do positive and negative. And we really try to identify the negative things here about where you're creating negative impact. Once you've located these and figured out what they are, that's when you can go into ideation and start coming up with solutions. Depending on the nature of your business, you're probably going to have to work with 
specialists within sustainability because it is going to move into the science and the technical side of your business in terms of product development and carbon emissions. So if you want a more straightforward approach, this is a system and a process that we do with our clients. And we break it down into five core areas. They are health and well-being, energy, heat and water, nature and biodiversity, transport and travel, and materials, consumption and waste, or circularity. So we do exactly the same thing. We have these five circles mapped out on the wall, on a Miro board, and we start looking at them and look at the negative and positive impact that we're having in each area and identify the areas that need addressing. This is the darker, dirtier side of our business. It's the areas that we really need to strategize and sort out. So when you do this ideation and activity, you need to bring in a diverse group of people in the room. This is leadership, junior level, sales to HR, to product developers, to engineers. You need to get a really good group in the room. You need cognitive diversity, but you also need to bring in different perspectives into the room. And you've got to be honest, you've got to be truthful, and you've really got to dive deep into these areas. Um, it's not easy. It will cause some heated discussion, but on the journey to sustainability and the journey to regenerative, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be hard. And the last stage is regeneration. This is the time for action. You've got to appoint and launch your change team and continue to address the negatives and enhance the positives. You're not just sustaining, but you're regenerating. Your business becomes a force for positive change. Remember, the impact that your business has on the planet is in your control. So let's take the first step towards a regenerative future. To understand green finance, please watch my How to Start Building a Regenerative Business. You can find that video on Instagram and YouTube. So I hope that's been useful. The journey to regenerative needs you, it needs your team, it needs people to come together to look at the darker side of your business, to really start thinking about the future and where you're going. You're gonna to have to have some really complicated, difficult questions to ask. You're gonna to have to look at your business in a new way and look at the dirty side of what you're doing. But that's where we all have to start and that's progress. If this has been useful to you, please like and share this video. Please subscribe if you listen to the podcast. Please pass this on to anyone that you that will find it useful. I would really appreciate it. But as always, be useful, be kind. I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.